Praise the Lord, everyone. Um, welcome to the God Seller 7 um, End Time Prophecy Channel. Um, this is take two, I can't even say it, on this prophecy. Um, I got this prophecy earlier today. I was hearing it um, a few days, and yes, it's a major hair razor humdinger. So join me in the King James Version Bible. I'm going to be in the book of Ephesians, um, chapter 5, um, let's see, verse 25, maybe 25 down to um, 27. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. As soon as I said church on every one of those, I got the Holy Spirit all over me. Okay, now, I know I'm going to have issues. Like I said, this is a humdinger hair razor. I got this earlier this morning. Um, I'm waiting actually for a phone call, so if you hear the phone ring, I'm going to shut it off, since this is um, take two. Um, today is what? Um, I think I just looked at it two minutes ago. Uh, I'm going to take a guess, uh, May 10th, uh, 2021. Now, um, I got this prophecy earlier today, but all last night I kept hearing something over and over again, and I did make a note of it in the prophecy, and I had to Google it when I got up. So again, the humdinger, here we go. The bride of Christ is about to be removed. Have you prepared? A cry will be heard. The bridegroom is coming. Remain steadfast. The greatest event man will see is about to take place. For those prepared, an amazing day. For those left behind, a day of sorrow and weeping and gnashing of teeth. This is the awaited event. The authorities will take drastic measures to keep order and maintain control. This event will usher in the new world order. <clears throat> My children, now is the most important time of your life. At any moment, I may return for you. Repent now and pray you may be ready, and, re and pray you may be ready. In the twinkling of an eye, everything is going to change. My promise will be kept. I have prepared a place for you. Now I return for you. Whoa. Note. Okay, this is what went on all last night before I got this prophecy. I heard the prophecy off and on for two to three days. Um, the Lord had me looking at... And actually, I put up videos of Jewish weddings. That is important. I didn't know exactly what went on with the Jewish wedding. You might want to look at it yourself. This is very important, what goes on in a Jewish wedding. Okay, so over and over, all night, I heard this one phrase. I never knew what it was. I had to Google it when I got up. It's, it was, I kept on hearing Blue Beam Project. Blue Beam. Blue Beam. I heard that all over, over, all, over and over, all the whole entire night. Blue Beam. I thought it was, here's what I thought it was, but when I was hearing it, I thought it was, we invented or someone invented some sort of a laser with the blue beam. That's what I thought it was. No, that isn't what it is. So I, I Googled it this morning. That was the first thing that I did. I wanted to know what that was. And as soon as I looked at it, it, it's supposedly a conspiracy theory, which makes me think now it is not a conspiracy theory. theory. So the final thing on the prophecy is Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Um, this is going to be the most important event of our lifetime and what's happening. And again, he's talking about those people that are prepared. An amazing day for those people prepared. And the horrible day, I want to say, a day of sorrow and weeping and gnashing of teeth for those that are left behind. Now years ago, I want to say maybe 2006 uh, in that time frame, 2007, I think I read a series of books called Left Behind. You don't want to be left behind. If this is what's up going on next, the rapture of the church, um, some people call it um, harpazo. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. Um, in the scripture, it's called catching away or caught up. The rapture. Is this it? Is this, this, it says this is the awaited event. You don't want to be left here. He's saying to repent at any moment. He may come with a shout. The angel comes with a shout, he may come. You don't want to be left here. This is majorly important. You need to repent every day. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to read about that in the book of Acts, Acts 2.38.
this is amazing. I said it before, I'm going to say it again. Every time I get a prophecy, it's more hair-raising and a bigger humdinger than the last one. I never had prophecies like this. Somebody said this before. They said, is this how it normally works? No, it isn't. This is highly unusual. I never get, got prophecies before like this. When I first got the Holy Spirit back in, like, I don't know, 26, uh, 2006, 2007, um, I would start it with getting dreams and visions first. That's what I got. Probably for off and on for about several months, I got dreams and visions. Then next came the prophecies. This is amazing. I can't believe we're here seeing all these things. This is amazing. You don't want to be left behind. You want to look at those um, that, that Left Behind series. I think they have um, CDs or DVDs out on it. You might want to look at that and see. There's going to be major, utter chaos. And it's going to usher in the New World Order. Um, if that's, that Blue Beam project isn't really a conspiracy and it's really going on, this is what's going to happen. You don't want to be left here when this happens. Do everything you can to have your house in order. Um, have a plan, and I said this on the video that didn't upload, and I had to delete it. Um, I said um, to make sure you're prepared, have extra food on, on hand, um, some emergency cash, emergency plan, and so on. You don't know who you might be helping. What if your family is left behind? What if those laughing at you and saying you're crazy um, suddenly realize when millions and millions of people disappear that we're not crazy? And they're stuck here, and they don't know what to do. You might be preparing for your family of, of the mockers and scoffers and unbelievers um, so that they could survive this horrible time that's coming on the earth next, the tribulation. This is what's coming up. You don't want to be left down here. You don't want to be left behind. Um, the most horrible time of persecution, and I want to say the beast will be in control, the Antichrist, the beast. So whatever supplies you have on, on hand and you're saving, um, and your family's laughing, they may be using them supplies. They may be crying and having the weeping and gnashing of teeth once they realize that they were wrong. And we aren't crazy. Have a plan. Make sure you're ready to go. Repent daily. Um, if you're in sin, please turn away from it. Don't do it again. That's what that means. Repent. This is it. We're at the end. I mean, it's not any, it can't get any clearer, any plainer. If I could go out on the balcony, I'd be yelling out there that this is it. We're at the end. He says straight up, the bride of Christ is about to be removed. How much clearer could he put it? Are you a member of the Bride of Christ? Are you one of them? You certainly want to be. Get a Bible. Read it front to back. Um, join a Bible study. You don't know what moment it might be. Any moment. It could be today. It could be five minutes from now. I could be sitting here and disappear. You don't know what's going to happen. Have a plan. You want to make sure you're going and not left behind. To, for the, I'm going to say the doom that's coming and the, and the disaster coming on the earth. Have a plan. Um, I better not go. Off. I better not go off on a tangent here. So again, I want to thank everyone that supports our ministry financially, so we can help other people, um, especially during these hard times now. I know a lot of people don't have jobs and things. Um, I want to thank everybody for all the encouraging comments under the videos. Um, thank you for the translations in the other languages. I might not get to thank everyone, but we really appreciate it um, for all the work you do um, with that, and the comments helping other people. Now, I did mention on the one that didn't work, the video that um, anytime you need a prayer, you can leave it right in the comments. Brother Dan, usually, he's the one, um, I want to say, the good soldier going over all of the comments. And if there's something that um, I need to see, he lets me know. So if you leave a prayer request in the comment, yes, we will pray over it. We may not answer, but we are praying for you. Um, what else did I want to mention? The, um, the problem with um, my uh, videos not being shown. So um, on YouTube, again, people are still telling me they're unsubscribed and they're not getting notifications. So if you're just watching or visiting or checking, uh, please make sure you subscribe and you're still subscribed, hit the notification button. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, on Facebook, I'm still on restricted. They're not showing my videos in, around. Um, so please, please, please share them um, if you can. I mean, this is like, I, I'm like blown away. Every time I get one of these messages, I can't even believe it. This one. Like I said, I got half of it, and I know it was going to be major when the Lord had me looking up Jewish wedding um, tradition, going back to ancient wedding traditions. You want to look at that. They're on the Facebook pages. So please share the videos as much as you can, and don't worry about those laughing. They laugh at me, and I don't care. You know that. What else did I want to mention? Did I cover everything? Um, just again, prayer for my mom, Brother Dan's dad. He's not doing well. I feel so bad. And what other thing? I think I better go because this I, I I couldn't believe the other one. The other one lasted two minutes and the blogging shut off by itself or something happened. I don't know what happened. So God bless you all and we love you guys. Um, 
Am I missing anything? Just have a blessed and safe day. Oh, that's what I wanted to mention. I mentioned on the other one. Um, I hope everybody had a happy Mother's Day, and God bless you, and we love you guys. No, we're done. Leave this works. Please let this work.